Hi guys and welcome to another video on my channel and this is not a review or anything like that this is just a helpful video that hopefully will help a few people that have the ZOHD Orbit Wing and are using Futaba equipment or anyone else who's having some struggles with getting the thing in the air. Um, as I mentioned on my review video there have been some problems that I had I spent about half a day plus trying to actually figure them out and it literally seems to be between the inbuilt stabilizer that comes with the ZOHD Orbit talking to the Futaba radio equipment. Now, or probably the receiver, the transmitter, something in the process just doesn't seem to work properly. Um, cause a lot of frustration. But anyway, hopefully I found the fix. Uh, I can certainly fly every time I want now. It seems to work. And fingers crossed this video will be useful to you. So let's just zoom in a little bit and we'll just have a look at where my equipment is set up. So nothing particularly complicated. Um, I'm not using SBUS or anything like this. I am using an R2008 SB. I have tried this on several of these to see whether it was just this receiver or whether it was um, a fault with a particular one. I also used the uh, two of the other Futaba ones, the one that came with my 14SG, which I can't remember. I think it's the 7008 um, and a GS version as well. So it was definitely not the receiver that was the issue that had the same problem on all of them so just as per the instruction manuals i've got it very straightforward set up the um, ailerons go into uh, channel one we've got the elevator channel two we've got the throttle channel three and then the mode switch is on channel four i set a mode switch on my transmitter and that's basically all you have to do and anyone who's flying with like tyrannis or anything like that probably won't have had that problem at all it will probably have just plugged in with no issue and no problem so let me just show you what the issue is so basically as as you would normally do you make sure all your switches are off i've got no mixes anything like that nothing weird set up on my uh, on my futaba and i know for a fact it's bound to the receiver i turn that on as you would normally do i've got the right model selected orbit absolutely fine no problem and then i will turn the orbit on we get the beeps from the motor we get a little twitch from the servos so you can see it's powered on but if i now try and throttle up I get nothing if I try and use elevators, no servo movement, anything. Now the servos are working. If I hold it up here, you can see if I wiggle it, the servos are responding. The stabilizer is doing what it should do. So the stabilizer seems to be on. Now, for me to get the fix to this, basically I tried other transmitters. I've actually got Easy UHF available to me. That was using PPM. Plug that in and I started to have some moments where it would actually work and it was really baffling because I thought I had it fixed and I thought okay I'm going to use easy UHF then it didn't work at all um, so again maybe it's the transmitter something about it was very strange basically the fix is very very simple fortunately all you need to do is you basically it seems that the ZOHD stabilizer needs to see the binding process sometimes for your transmitter so the way to do that the way that I tend to do it is basically you don't turn your transmitter on so this is off at the moment I'm going to power the aircraft on. I'm going to wait for one beep from the motor and then I'm going to turn my transmitter on. So power it on, one beep, turn my transmitter on. Nothing whatsoever. OK, let's try that again. Like I say, it does it sometimes where you'll see it and it will work and then it won't afterwards. Again, one beep, transmitter on. There we go. Now we get a long beep from the motor and sure enough, now I can move all the control surfaces. I can power the motor on, everything like that. Really, really strange. And sometimes I thought, OK, well, I just have to power on my aircraft first. That's fine. But sometimes if you leave it for too long, as you saw the first time round, it doesn't do it. You just seem to get have to get the right timing. But eventually it does bind. I've had no problems once it's actually bound and it's working. I've had no problems. It's not cut off. There's no, no issues in the air, anything like that. It just needs to get to that point where it will talk. Um, and if you don't get to that point, you can't do anything. You can't calibrate your ear see anything like that it's very very strange but fortunately it is resolvable it may just be the stabilizer in this particular model that i've got i have a second orbit wing coming that i'm going to do some customization with i will test it out in that but anyway hopefully this has been helpful to anyone who's having this problem whether it be a futaba issue whether it be other transmitters and receivers as well uh, fingers crossed that's good for you and uh, yeah i'll see you on the next one